Which cinnamon roll do you want? Okay, so we just came from Target. I got some chicken stock, cookies, barbecue sauce, pasta, tartar sauce. Also got some semi, some street corn. This is gonna go for our meal prep for lunch this week. Got some more martini, white cheddar for dinner tonight. I'm making shepherd's pie. I don't think I mentioned that yet. Also got some lemonade, simple syrup. It looked like a tight fit. I also got some vanilla syrup. I was struggling this morning to make my coffee sweet, so I just went ahead and got that. I also got some tea, this passion fruit um, tea, which is really good if you're into passion fruit. And then, ah, oh, some more simple ones. I also got some bun. I'm making four chicken sandwiches this week. So I got some buns for that. And I got a cheese cloth. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I got a cheese cloth. I'm gonna make some juice this week out of oranges and carrots and lemon and all the things. We needed another spatula. I got a plastic funnel set because every time I do my spices, I make a mess because I threw away. I don't even know why I threw away. I threw away the funnel that came with the containers. So now I have a funnel. And I also got some more press on nails. And I got some earrings. So this goes upstairs. I also got some ramen. Some ramen. Black pepper, celery salt, and chili powder. Celery salt goes really good on chicken if you're meal prepping. I got some white rice and the rose that I was drinking in my last video. I got it that was sparkling. This is non sparkling, so this is the wine version. The other one was a potato. And lastly, we got some chicken. This is already in the room with traffic, so it's good for lunch, meal prep, and portion control. You don't have to fall out everything, but, or take the time to separate everything like when you get a big bag of chicken. Okay, so that was all the food. And then for household items, we needed some more napkins. I use this to clean the bathrooms. I needed some more wet jet for my Swiffer. If you didn't know, they offer anti-back. This is for our, um, what's it think? Diffuser. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite scent. So if you ever want to know what our house smells like, this is what it smells like. Deep blue sea and beechwood. This is new. Did you smell it? Sniff and smell. It smells good. We also got this for a room spray rainwater. So we can use this to spray the room when we're done closing out the kitchen. I got the right sponge. It's the mommy. <laughs> so remember in last vlog, I told you guys, well, I think we're two vlogs back. I told you guys I got the wrong one. This is the right one. I needed some more laundry sanitizer because I'm doing laundry today. Although I've only done like one load, so I need to get on that. Got some candles. This is for our bathroom. So this goes upstairs. It's an upstairs path. No, it, in our bathroom, for when, you know, it's white. And then I also have these to go in all three bathrooms, like behind the toilet. I didn't even smell it, so I'm just gonna <laughs> hope it smells good. So all of this stuff costs $20. If you can't believe it, right <laughs> I don't really know how to explain how it costs $20. It was a, we had a, so we had some Christmas gifts that we needed to take back. And we ended up getting, uh, when I did a refund, I told the lady to put it on the gift card because I knew we was gonna shop. And so that ended up being, what time them up? Yeah. That was 120. And then Target, so as we were shopping, we are realizing that we are I guess, getting like a lot of cleaning stuff. And so they had a deal where if you spend 50, you get 15 back. And so we just kind of strategically got $50 worth of cleaning products, which is what you see here. And so we got $15 back. 
And so what I did was, which is what Nikia said, she hardly ever does. But I scan the sale products first so I can get the gift card back immediately versus getting it back at the end of the transaction. So I spent the 50 um, on the cleaning product. So I got the 15 back. So you take the 50 minus the 120, but add the 15 onto it. And so that's how we bought the rest of the stuff. And with the other coupons and savings that we had, we only actually had to come out of pocket, I think about $22 and 12 cents or something like that. Mm -hmm. So normally what, I, I don't get it back the same day. I don't know why I didn't do it. But I, I feel like that's probably something new. It's, I'm, it's not new. I'm always going to do it. <laughs> well, okay, it's not new. But, yeah, she, I, so we've been using this return message. So, Let's say Christmas. But if you're riding around with returns, let's talk about y'all. If you're riding around with returns in your car, this is your sign to take your stuff back because you can save some money. Dollar Tree and they had all of the spring things out so I picked up some items got that nail glue some press-ons I love that blue color there I picked up these two new colors um I don't like the one on the left but I love the one on the right I also got me a scrunchie with a little pearl I think that is so cute I'm getting ready to put some twists in my hair so this is going to be cute with um, my twist and a ponytail I also got this headband I thought it would look very cute and girly. And then I picked up this donut for my buns um, because I have shorter hair now, so I need a smaller bun. And I got these bandanas I'm going to use as a head scarf um, for my twist when I'm cleaning around the house. So I thought those were nice spring prints. I also got a hat while I'm outside. I'm going to tackle a garden again. And I also got this fan. This is good to keep in your purse because it's going to get hot. And it's just nice to have a fan in your purse to, you know, fan yourself. I also got some more florals for my floral wall. Here, I'm going to show you that in a minute. I want to add two more bunches there. I have a... I don't know if you can see that orange vase there and I also have that purple vase so I want to put some flowers in there. My floral wall is probably my favorite part of my room. I love it so much. It's very girly. It's very dainty. It's different. I actually got the idea from someone that I follow on Instagram. It's up. She had a floral wall of real florals for her birthday. I think it was a special occasion. And once I started designing my room, I knew I wanted a floral wall. And it's right below my TV. So it's just a perfect little backdrop. dinner 
here I'm making shepherd's pie. I haven't made this in a long time. Actually, I don't think I've made this since we've been living here. I used to make it all the time at our old home. I got this recipe from Laura Vitale, so I'll link that video below. I'm following her recipe to the T. Now, I should have used my smaller <laughs> pan. This pan is way too big. But I had already poured it in and committed to it, so I just <laughs> kept it going. I'm also going to put those potatoes on top. I've already added cheese. I added that white cheddar cheese instead of the regular, the yellow cheddar. And I do taste the difference. I think this is much better. I mean, so I'm going to go ahead and get this assembled, put it in the oven. Again, I did not get a shot of the finished product. I apologize, but I did take a picture from the internet so you can see what it looks like completely done. all so much for clicking on this video thank you emeralds for coming back and if you're new here hello again my name is Nikki and Michelle and I upload new videos every Tuesdays and Sundays on homemaking skincare tips and I vlog my life so if you're interested in that content please subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video and become an emerald thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye